first of all, I'm really, really happy to, to be part of the team. The team has great history, great heritage, and um, everybody's extremely motivated. It's great to be part of that motivation because, uh, of course, I'm, uh, I have the same spirit. I really want to develop, and I hope that this year will be a, a year where I can uh, demonstrate what I can do, not only to to the team, but also to myself. If I can be scoring points, if the car is a, score, is a point scorer, I want to be every time at 100% of what the car can do. After a few races with the Renault engine, uh, I've learned a great deal about it. It's a, it's a very good unit, it has very good drivability, and I'm sure this is going to be a big improvement for, for the team because uh, uh, as a driver, you need to have every weapon you have in your hand to make sure that your stint is good. So uh, I'm sure that we can develop the car even better with the Renault engine and uh, it should be interesting to give them some feedback compared to uh, the, my previous experience with the engine. Well, Pastor is a, is a great driver. I've raced against him in GP2 and uh, for two years and we, you know, we always get along well. He's been a, a very tough uh, opponent in the past and uh, it's going to be even tougher now in the same car, so for sure we're going to be trying to beat each other. But uh, you know, as teammates, we're going to collaborate with each other and bring the team forward. Today we've been uh, doing some simulator work. Uh, it's been very useful for me to learn uh, the steering wheel layout and uh, how the team works. I've been working with my engineers, uh, which helps a lot. And uh, you just uh, take all those procedural uh, things away from you when, before you get into the real car. So when you get into the actual car, you don't have to think about that. You just drive the car and then try to work as, uh, as um, seamlessly as possible. Fuel loads, 40 kilos at the moment. Okay, copy. The more developed the simulator can be, the better, because then you can really um, do a race simulation before the race we can, and you arrive on Friday with a much better understanding of the car and of the track and that all can make a big difference for you during the race weekend. The relationship between an engineer and a driver is something that uh, few people can understand. You need to really be gelling very well with your engineer. You need to understand each other very well and all that can uh, make the difference on your results for the end of the year. When you're in Formula 1, you're always enjoying and learning, so last year was a very, um, very strange, different year. But it was great in a way because it put me in a position to be to be here now. The Renault was a good car last year, um, but on several, on several occasions I think he got the better of his more experienced teammates. And he didn't make mistakes that were damaging to progress, forward progress. I thought Jeremy did very, very well considering he was thrown in at the deep end towards the end of the season. I guess this will be my most exciting year so far and hopefully it will be my best year. And uh, Every year after this will be even better. Well, it's amazing to be part of the team with such heritage. Uh, we're here in the museum now and uh, I just come here and I start drooling because uh, all these cars, I've seen them racing and uh, you always think with yourself, how, how could it been racing those cars and uh, I've seen them on the track but never been inside them so I hope I can be driving the active car in Goodwood just to have a feel but you know in fairness it's uh, it's just great and uh, I hope that we can be uh, part of this history and uh, write a good a good chapter to be in Formula One was always my dream of course I was uh, since a very young age a fan of motor racing of course there's great influence from my uncle in this but ever since I put my my feet on the go-kart. I never wanted to do anything else. Well, there's a romantic side of one's mind, says, I wonder if he's as good as his uncle. It's going to be fantastic if he is. But um, I'd just like to see him be, be a surprise for everybody. Be nice, it would be a nice story. Quite a few of the, pe the people here actually worked with Ayrton. There are so many people that stayed in motor racing for so long. And uh, these guys have seen what world champions can do. So um, it's very encouraging for me that they're giving me the chance to prove myself here. And, um, you know, I'm sure that uh, we can uh, bring back some good memories, but hopefully create some new good memories too.
had much of a chat about the steering wheel yet, have you? Um, do you know? No. They're not actually, it's these two. It's the pedal on the top. Yeah. So it's there, uh, at the, here in the steering wheel. But sometimes, if you're doing much stuff, it's difficult to hit that button, whereas a pedal is just like an overrun profile, you, you put it there. So it's, so it's we try to have on here the, the switches that you change most often, so tire, on the top, yeah. So we need to improve yeah. those buttons to make it more usable yeah. on track, if, if it yes. happens. And then having those pedals do the different functions, you can... And well, now you'll be doing loads of bite points, and then you'll, you would show the um, bite point learn. Yeah. Check out the seat. Yeah. The water, the shoulders, the shoulders are completely out. Yeah, so the shoulders are here and the hands are in there. A lot more simple as the years go back. Go back. Well, I'm, first of all, I'm really, really happy to to be part of the team. The team has great history, great heritage, and um, everybody's extremely motivated to come out of uh, 2011 in a difficult year in 2012 into a much better year where everybody is getting uh, more results and uh, it's great to be part of that motivation because uh, of course I'm, uh, I have the same spirit, I really want to develop and I hope that this year will be uh, a year where I can uh, demonstrate what I can do, not only to, to the team but also to myself. You know, if I can be scoring points, if the car is a, score, is a point scorer, I want to be every time at 100% of what the car can do. Well, um, after a few races with the Renault engine, uh, I've learned a great deal about it. It's a, it's a very good unit, it has very good drivability, and uh, I'm sure this is going to be a big improvement for, for the team because uh, uh, as a driver, especially with the, the Pirelli tyres, which are very difficult to manage during a race stint, 
you need to have every weapon you have in your hand to make sure that your stint is good. So uh, I'm sure that we can develop the car even better with the Renault engine and uh, it should be interesting to give them some feedback compared to uh, the, my previous experience with the engine. Well, Pastor is a, is a great driver. I've raced against him in GP2 and uh, for two years and we, you know, we always get along well. He's been a, a very tough uh, opponent in the past and uh, he's going to be even tougher now in the same car. So for sure we're going to be trying to beat each other, but uh, you know, as teammates we're going to collaborate with each other and bring the team forward. Well, uh, today we've been uh, doing some simulator work. Uh, it's been very useful for me to learn uh, the steering wheel layout and uh, how the team works. I've been working with my engineers, uh, which helps a lot. And uh, you just uh, take all those procedural uh, things away from you when, before you get into the real car. So when you get into the actual car, you don't have to think about that. You just drive the car and then try to work as, uh, as um, seamlessly as possible. The more developed the simulator can be, the better, because then you can really um, do a race simulation before the race weekend and you arrive on Friday with a much better understanding of the car and of the track and that all can make a big difference for you during the race weekend. The relationship between an engineer and the driver is something that uh, few people can understand. You need to really be gelling very well with your engineer because uh, first there is a respect relationship, both of you need to respect each other, but also um, you need to work in the, right, uh, in the right way. You need to understand each other very well and all that can make the difference on your results for the end of the year. Well, um, of course, I was, uh, since a very young age, a fan of motor racing. Of course, there's great influence from my uncle in this. But ever since I put my, my feet on the go-kart, I never wanted to do anything else. And uh, I'm very privileged to be able to do what I love. And uh, to be in Formula One was always my dream. So let's hope I can stay here and be very successful here. When you're in Formula One, you're always enjoying and learning. So last year was a very, um, a very strange, different year. But it was great in a way because it put me in a position to be, to be here now. And uh, I guess this will be my most exciting year uh, so far. And hopefully it will be my best year. And uh, every year after this will be even better. Well, it's amazing to be a part of the team with such heritage. Uh, we're here in the museum now and uh, I just come here and I start drooling because uh, all these cars, I've seen them racing and uh, you always think with yourself, how, how could I have been racing those cars? And uh, I've seen them on the track, but never been inside them. So I hope I can be driving the active car in Goodwood just to have a feel. But, you know, in fairness, it's, uh, it's just great. And uh, I hope that we can be uh, part of this history and uh, write a good, a good chapter. Well, you know, it's, um, it's very interesting to be driving a, in a team that uh, my uncle has driven before. It's um, quite a few of the, peop the people here actually worked with Ayrton. There are so many people that stayed in motor racing for so long. And uh, these guys have seen what world champions can do. So um, it's very encouraging for me that they're giving me the chance to prove myself here. And, um, you know, I'm sure that... Uh, we can uh, bring back some good memories, but hopefully create some new good memories too. Well, it's um, of course a great reason of pride for me to be um, Brazilian right now. Brazil is in a great moment economically and uh, the companies are so strong, they're supporting me. It's um, all, these, all these guys that are uh, the top in, the, in their own areas and uh, definitely Having them to give me backing is uh, a reason of great pride because they, are, uh, they chose me to be, um, sponsor, to be sponsored and uh, help me to start my career in Formula 1 properly right now. So I'm sure that we can uh, have a long history together. And uh, the ones that have been with me for many years, we have a great relationship and uh, hopefully build a great relationship with the ones that are coming right now. It wasn't that long ago. I read his name in certain you know, magazines about what he was doing last year, but really 
really only came into one's mind in a meaningful way when we were looking for a, a driver for this year. And a bit of research indicated he might be a good candidate. The Renault was a good car last year, um, but on several, on several occasions I think he got the better of his more experienced teammates and he didn't make mistakes that were damaging to progress, forward progress. I thought Jeremy did very, very well considering he was thrown in at the deep end towards the end of the season. We need points and the reason we need points is it establishes your market value, it keeps you on television which is attractive to the people who sponsor you. And it also has its own commercial value via Mr. Ecclestone and the money for the following season. So obviously, points is the, is the first and obvious answer. But above all, we just want to see our racing cars running further towards the front that they have been in, in, the, in recent previous years. Well, there's a romantic side of one's mind. says, I wonder if he's as good as his uncle. It's going to be fantastic if he is. But um, I'd just like to see him be, be a surprise for everybody. But nice, it'd be a nice story.